Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video, we're going to have a look at how we export just the audio from our Final Cut Pro timeline, and then also how we can separate out our audio tracks. So, for instance, if we have dialogue and music, how we can export those out as separate audio tracks. So, first things first, we have a short intro video here, and we're just going to export the audio out from this timeline. So, I'm going to come up to the top right here, where we can go to the Share button, and we're going to choose the Master File option. And then in here, we have our video, we can scrub through it. And then we can also go to settings, where we can change what we want to export. So you can see you have a variety of different options here, one of them being audio only. So once that's selected, you can select the audio format that you want to export. So either an AIFF, MP3 or WAV format will export out an MP3 format. If you're going to bring your audio back in to edit with, then an AIF or a WAV would be the best format, or if you're sending it to a PC, then a WAV would be a good format to send to someone who's working or editing on a PC. So if we hit next now, then basically we can export this out. It is going to export out just an audio track from Final Cut Pro. So then if we jump to our folder here, you can see we've got that MP3 exported out, ready to share, ready to use as a podcast or something like that, if you don't need the video attached to it as well. So then how do we export out only the dialogue or the music audio? And this comes down to setting roles for our track. So you can see here down the timeline, I have two audio tracks, they're highlighted green here, then my video track with the dialogue on it that is highlighted as blue. And that's basically because the role has been set. So if we right click on any one of these tracks, we can go to assign audio roles or assign video roles. And we'd have to edit the roles to give some specific roles to the video roles, but we'll focus on the audio for the moment. So here you can see I've got audio effects, which is a slightly teal sort of blue. And then I've got music. And then if I click on this again, I've got my dialogue, which obviously this is not. That's the same as my video track. So I'm going to right click here and change this to music and then the way that we isolate these so we can export them out is by using the index options up here at the top left so under the index we can search for clip names we can have a look for our tags and then we can also manage the roles so you can see under roles here in the index we have the video checkbox which is gonna when we uncheck that turn off all the video so it's just the audio playing back here now it's not deleted it it's just kind of muted it um, but everything along the track and then we can uncheck the dialogue and that now means that we're just exporting out that music from the timeline so if i come to share master file and then settings i'm exporting out the audio only it's going to hold that choice that you made last time and we'll export this out we'll call this music and so now this is going to export out just a music track from Final Cut Pro. So just those roles that we've kept checked on. Now, obviously, you can get more advanced with how your track is organized. And obviously, the editing will be a bit more complicated than this in most cases. But as long as you're assigning those roles to things that at any point in time, you can export things out and you can add new roles, edit the roles. So you can create more complexity in your timeline, which may be important if you're going to export out your audio to have it mixed down or worked on by someone else. So hopefully this is helpful. If you do have any questions about this, then please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.